the maintenance of biological preparations and temperature control perfusion chamber systems, benefits from the optimization of both perfusion and aspiration parameters. Good perfusion and aspiration are critical to maintaining the health of the preparation and to maintaining the mechanical stability of the bath environment. Also, a well-optimized system will contribute greatly to successful measurements in sensitive imaging and electrophysiological applications. Warner Instruments Valve Control Systems are an ideal tool for multi-drug delivery using a gravity-fed perfusion paradigm. Gravity-fed perfusion is preferred because the pulse-free nature of the flow minimizes mechanical perturbations within the chamber. Peristaltic pumps are also commonly used to drive perfusion since they allow for use of open solution reservoirs as well as allowing direct control of the perfusion flow rate. Syringe pumps are also useful for the direct control of flow rate and delivery of experimental solutions. Typically, flow rates for temperature controlled perfusion chamber systems range from less than one milliliter per minute for applications perfusing culture media up to 10 milliliters per minute for applications perfusing buffers over ex vivo tissue preparations in relatively large volume baths. Both preparation types are used for imaging and electrophysiological studies. The traditional suction tube design uses an open tip having a beveled edge that is oriented upwards. In this design, the tip of the sharp tube is used to break the solution surface tension while leaving a large opening for the intake of both air and aspirant. This slurping effect is critical for proper aspiration of the chamber bath. Bath height is set by the position of the suction tube angle relative to the suction well. Suction height is adjusted by changing the angle of the beveled suction tube within the suction well of the Series 20 chamber. The set screw can be used to fix this set angle. Microslit suction tube design improves the quality of laminar flow in round bath chambers, improves the quality of aspiration and allows for direct setting of the bath height by a simple positioning of the suction tube in the bath. The micro slit design employs a plugged luminal hole with slits around the circumference that facilitate the collection of solution from the edges of a round bath, thereby improving the quality of laminar flow in these chambers. Aspiration quality is critical to the mechanical stability of preparations within perfusion chamber systems. As such, an ideal vacuum generating tool is provided by our dedicated workstation vacuum system. This apparatus employs two vacuum reservoirs coupled with a vacuum pump and a regulator to directly control the degree of vacuum pressure. The two reservoirs provide aspirant collection and pressure buffering. A suction pressure of 5 inches of mercury, approximately 2 psi, is sufficient to maintain steady aspiration pressure and consistent aspiration of the bath. Perfusion is provided to series 20 chambers via polyethylene tubing which can be cut at an angle to facilitate insertion into the chamber perfusion inlet port. This allows for both easy and secure fitting of fresh tubing to feed the perfusion of a recording chamber. Demonstrated here, the tip of the beveled edge of the polyethylene tubing is inserted into the perfusion inlet of a Series 20 chamber, providing a direct connection of the perfusion line to the bath. Here we observe the pattern of wash in and wash out through an RC26 chamber perfused at 2 milliliters per minute with the addition of a single drop of food dye. Observe the flow characteristics during clearing of the bath and the laminar flow induced by the chamber bath geometry. Demonstrated here is the QE1, perfused at a flow rate of 2 milliliters per minute. One drop of food dye reveals the flow pattern of solution through this round bath, as well as the laminar flow that is facilitated by use of the micro slit suction tube. The laminar washout pattern is exhibited here towards the end of the video clip.
In this clip, an RC27LD chamber is being perfused at a rate of 5 milliliters per minute, with a single drop of food dye used to reveal the pattern of wash-in, wash-out, and laminar flow. During the wash-out process, it is recommended that the equivalent of 5 bath volumes be perfused in order for the bath solution to reach 99% exchange. So, for a 200 microliter bath, 1,000 microliters of solution should be perfused to achieve complete washout. Note the position of the perfusion inlet tube, touching the sidewall of the chamber's perfusion inlet. This minimizes mechanical perturbations associated with dripping solution directly into the bath. Observe the use of a cotton wick, bridging the bath and suction well, allowing for smooth movement of solution into the suction well. This can minimize any tidal action in the bath. When a wick is used between the bath and suction well, you recommend the use of cotton gauze or suture thread. A buildup of silicone grease can impede the flow of solution between the two wells and is a common cause of disruption of perfusion through the chamber. Be sure there is no extraneous grease in the chamber or bath during or after assembly. A properly configured and assembled temperature controlled perfusion chamber system with optimized perfusion and aspiration parameters, yields a stable bath environment for the maintenance and study of biological preparations.